can become your own doctor. You don't have to look for um, where you get some uncomfortable. You don't have to look for your doctor. Then you take care of at home. I did this because at the beginning, when I come here, I really, I don't know how to see the doctor. Um, after I turn certain age, especially many age, I realized that I have to take care of myself from the beginning to the, the end. Because when we go to doctor, every time we, doctor maybe just spend a few time, maybe just 10 minutes, then they cannot understand your body, your whole life forever. So you know what you going on every day for yourself. You know what you eat. You know where did you go. You know what kind of people you, mm, you contact. Now you know what did you do, what stress you have. So I realize um, we, I have to take care of myself. I trust Chinese medicine because I grew up in China. I understand Chinese medicine is very mild, has a very, um, very less side effect. So I pay attention to learn some Chinese uh, medicine to take care of myself. Right now, I just uh, uh, go over some of the main idea, daily life, how can we take care of self in order we just visit our doctor for less time, then we can save money and save, save our time, enjoy our time. First, I have to uh, um, start from every day we have to do, every day we have to eat. That's much, mostly important. The nutrition is mostly important. We need the nutrition to grow, to maintain our energy, our everything. But what kind of nutrition do we have? We have to give about, uh, what kind of nutrition do we need? First, we have to understand what do we need every day. We need protein. We need protein to maintain our skin, we muscle, uh, everything maintenance. We need a uh, fat, fatty, to maintain our brain, to um, make up some of the brain cells. We need water, we need medicines. Food is the only medicine that we, everyone need every day for daily life. Look for, uh, so we understand, but food also, neither food be your medicine. That's very important. We understand. Every time we eat any food, it's like we take the medicine. Um, so what kind of food can cause what kind of things happen? For example, if every day you eat a lot of fatty food, like a high cholesterol, your cholesterol will high. If you don't eat cholesterol, you just have a wild cholesterol, you will not have high cholesterol. So like a diabetes, at the beginning, the high sugar, where sugar come? Mainly we come from we eat. If you don't eat sugar, how can you get um, high, high, uh, high sugar, blood sugar? So you cannot get the diabetes. In Chinese, we pay attention to the food, the what things give off. We see every the vegetable, every meat, we ask the urban. Many things like common the carrots. We know the carrots is um, give somebody's heart can cause in, in Chinese medicine, we talk about the body has um, one's cold, one's hard. We want our body is balanced. So we tell the meat is hard food, then the vegetable, some kind of vegetable is cold food. We want this, be our body be balanced. If our body balanced, your, your body will very health, well health, well health. Well, you will have energy, you have good memory. So how many, how many things we need every day? So we think about, for um, if we give body total five portion food, so we need just one portion of hard food, like meat, then the high, um, high fat food, just one portion. Another four portion is vegetable, fruit. So then that can, um, this can keep your whole body balanced. This is, when you eat any food, like uh, every day, 
we talk about I will eat um, um, one portion the chicken like one half you can calculate how much the average body is like you eat uh, every meat you can eat uh, one like this big that uh, uh, meat this this uh, portion of meat then you eat another five portion of uh, um, fruit then you can keep your body balanced this is average for Chinese uh, um, the people but American maybe a little bit different but uh, I hope this can you can use this into your daily life this is so when every time my question is I just uh, emphasize um, watch every day what do you eat now um, just the people four pushing the vegetable one pushing the meat egg, egg like this another is when you eat any um, food like you if you have the high cholesterol high cholesterol is not just for the people thin very thin people still can have high cholesterol it, it depends how many uh, every day what do you eat like one egg um, I read the Chinese medicine day they calculate one egg every day we just need 200 micro the cholesterol but one egg including one egg yolk including 189 that means every day if you just eat one um, egg yolk that means you close the cholesterol is enough for whole days so this is why uh, I the Chinese medicine they um, education the, the people for the eventually for the um, for the a little bit of age people we we educate them just eat um, because egg the protein is very good it's very good protein but for many certain uh, pay, uh, certain age people we don't want to they eat yolk you can uh, we tell the people give the yolk to the young uh, young kids to eat or use anywhere um, I hope you accept everyone accept this every day just in the morning I hope everyone drink some milk one cup of milk because but uh, for some age some certain people I hope uh, they don't uh, don't use just uh, drink the fatty free milk because milk including a lot of fat too so but we need uh, um, vitamin D but uh, milk can give you enough vitamin D this is for nutrition just, um, also in Chinese we talk about the bean black bean black bean can um, exclude flesh body the toxin so we, we put the black bean and some another Chinese urban you can um, cook in that then as the daily um, as the daily uh, drink then your body will keep very clean if you get some poison poison then you drink that then you um, then the top the toy toy uh, will go away this is food also we have a lot a lot of opportunities what kind of when you what condition you drink you eat them which you change your diet you, um, including what happened to your body for example in the summer we use we um, some the family they cook a lot of the green bean soup then put some the Chinese urban uh, the called uh, Chinese name is called uh, gan chao but this is uh, this very good soup now keep your body very calm down because outside is hot but this soup can keep you very calm down then less the um, um, toxin in your, in your body second is exercise I I believe the massage um, I massage is very important um, medicine in China to use for the um, patient because in Chinese the massage is your acupuncture this is not the acupuncture but we use the massage is not just the general massage this massage is looking for the acupuncture point acupuncture point we um, education the some people every day do some exercise 
this um, but in American West medicine they talk about this exercise just the work smile work but um, in Chinese we said exercise we have the purpose the goal the how to exercise um, every day when you wake up you can drink some three cups of um, water why do we need three or two cups of water because every day when you drink up uh, wake up then you drink now the water can flush all your toxin um, when you sleep there um, because when you sleep your whole body is very slow down the blood um, circulation is very slow so you drink blood you drink water can flush all the um, the poison toxin then your body get um, flush then after that you can start to do massage. I taught this massage is your massage is also called exercise. So three point they uh, advise everyone to do the massage. First one point is in your head here. You just um, every day we tell the people just gentle massage here. This is very important massage point. Another is uh, this is in the back. You can do this to back and this massage point is called uh, this can reduce your uh, tension from your sleep. So this is very good for the tension headache. But every day you do uh, here, then in the back here. Also, we uh, teach you the, everyone to do the exercise in the morning, do here. Also, stretch your body. In, the, uh, in Chinese, we have the very good exercise. is how, um, how serious exercise. But, um, um, it will spend time to learn this, but in the um, park in China, many people wake up very early. They go to the park. Many people um, stand there, um, they practice everything together. They In the morning, they stretch themselves. First, they stretch head, then they um, like to stretch head here, just make the eyes is feel comfortable. And also do some the, um, abdominal the stretch. This is a massage. It's not, you can do just the, uh, like, like uh, just the pep, 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 this. But uh, you need to pep uh, many times. Every, every, um, every pep, every gesture you need to do 64, 64. So I, I was very interested to uh, learn this, uh, uh, this uh, exercise, the the program, I every day right now. I when I have time, I will do some stretch. I know if I have a back pain, I sit there for a long time. I I know how to do the back. Then I I can show you the very small the um, technique. How do when you have the back pain? Don't, first, don't go to the doctor. You can uh, you can use the massage to reduce your back. You can just uh, um, simply do this, uh, use two hands, use the back, then you just um, just move from the inside, from outside, do this. So when you do uh, five times, like five, one, two, three, four, five, then you stop one time, one, two, you keep doing this, keep 64, 64 times every day. If you feel pain, you just do this. You feel much better. Uh, another is back pain, the uh, treatment is smooth, smooth to move your, um, the waist. If you're interested, I really want to teach you this, uh, the Chinese medicine in the future, the massage. I call this massage, it's not that you go to the professional, but it's you massage yourself to um, move, your, uh, move your body inside, the, um, in Chinese the term is inside the gas. Because in, in our body, they have some gas. It's some the electric move every day, but we couldn't see. This is why I want to some people do some research to find out why Chinese medicine has existed for a long time. They, um, it works, but just work slowly. If you keep every day to... Um, I have a very important point I did for myself. 
um, they in Chinese we um, talk about immune system. For example, immune system is um, very important. And um, it's any uh, mosaic point, mosaic acupuncture point or mosaic point can increase your um, increase the body, the immune system. We don't have to take the medicine. Yes, we do have some uh, point in the body. If you came to um, this between here, there is point, we call the chest point. That is um, very important in point. If you keep doing this every day, your immune system will increase, increase here. But you couldn't see, but this function can, um, can find, if you can find your immune system improve by the, by the time. We learned this all right in the Chinese book. So uh, right now, I summary the sum the Chinese the exercise the massage is not just uh, you work on the um, on the street like the Western medicine they talk you work on the street. We do have the um, the point is how can we um, active how body the guy how body the guys move in the body. For example, you do some uh, massage here. We have. A, you, you don't have to go outside. You can sit there and now you massage here. Is this is one good um, chain. Uh, this is for the is uh, for the liver for the candy. Another point is uh, in your back, your leg there. Also is for the uh, candy. And in summary, another is very important. In Chinese, they talk about uh, sleeping. We talk, we advise everyone sleep six to eight hours. Don't sleep more than uh, two hours. And don't sleep less than five minutes. Sleeping is very important because sleeping can restore your blood in your body, um, give your body to produce more um, energy, like liver. Um, function every day. You, you when you, at daytime your muscle, your liver, your kidney, it will be used a lot. But when you sleep, then um, can reduce, uh, restore your this function. So the time we also talk about. We we advise people sleep um, from eleven to three. That's very important. It's not just you sleep the hour. That's not enough. But it's particular the hour during the light. The sleep. The 11 to 3 o'clock, that's very important. So I sometimes I feel very sorry if people work in the light shift, they couldn't get the regular, um, uh, regular schedule. That's, that's not good for the body. I always think about the hospital, everyone should give them extra money to, for this uh, schedule or miss up. Mm -hmm. and thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, Maybe I speak too fast, but I, I hope you everyone uh, can understand.